now we're going to bring in baseball legend, catcher for the Big Red Machine, yes! world champion, Hall Woo! of Famer. He can hold seven baseballs in his hand. I've seen it. This is Johnny Bench. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Can Good I just morning. say, can I just jump in? Because Mitch is excited to talk to you because he's a sporty spice guy. You really did change the game of baseball with your quick moving footwork and you're just so explosive from the bases. So you really changed all of our enjoyment of the game. So I want to say thank you. Well, thank you very much. Your grandfather must have told you all about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Johnny. Uh, I that's was a, around in the 80s. That's a great looking sport coat. Is that free from s &K? <laughs> oh, oh, you know the old thing. Oh, no, I got the, you know, whole thing. I've got, I'm all doing it. But you're very good. My gosh, you're going back a long way. Ah, well, it's, it's what I grew up with. I don't mean to call you old, but you just called yourself old. Timeless. I want to ask I you, am. though. Like fine wine. A pitch clock, Thanks. no shift, bigger bases. This is changing baseball, and it's a lot of changes all at once. What do you think? Well, I love a lot of it. I love the quick pitch. I love the fact that there's a pitch clock. I love the fact that it's going to be over faster and everything else there's more action every day now of course it's a, it's a conspiracy against catchers that uh, they're going to steal more bases i think they were up like 77 to 71 over spring training last year you'll see a lot of late inning drama where the guys that they brought onto the roster have twice as much speed and they're going to try to steal bases more effectively you look at those bases actually from what i heard it was the people in the upper deck that couldn't see the bases from up there and so they said well let's make them larger I mean, well, that's I do really hope I see more stolen base opportunities. I, I I feel you must feel differently about that as a catcher. Uh, all well, the stolen bases. <laughs> one seconds to get to second from first. Now, if they cut that down to three seconds, now all of a sudden the catcher has to throw it 127 feet, three inches, get it a foot above the bag so that they can tag the runner out. Now, that's a conspiracy. That is just totally <laughs> against it. I love the no ship thing. I think you're going to see more offense. I think batting averages go up 10 points for a lot of people, 15 points, 20 points. If you can imagine, in 100 at-bats, you get 27 hits, you hit 270. You get three more of those hits to go through the infield into the outfield. Now you're batting 300. I'll say, what a great player he is. Only three more hits in 100 at-bats. But this is exciting. It's opening day. Of course, the Cubs are always there. they got the new shortstop in Dabney Swanson. they got Aaron Judge, home runs. You've got, you know, drama always building with the Astros being such a great team. My selection, of course, is a secret team is the Baltimore Orioles. I think they'll play really well. And I think it's exciting. I just love the fact that we can now have box scores. We can watch the game through the box score. And I'm excited about opening day every year. I'm excited as well. I mean, it is it is hope springing eternal. You didn't mention the, the Reds. Braves. I can't believe Did I that. The Braves? <laughs> Did I mention the Braves? <laughs> You, you didn't, uh, but but feel free. But he did multiple times wow, this morning. Uh, old great guy down there for years and years, but the Braves continue to win and be be con uh, competitive. It's just it's great to see young players come up, and we've got so many great players in the game of baseball. It'll be exciting to watch Otani today, and uh, as he takes the mound, and uh, such a great threat. So baseball is our lives. Well, let me ask you this, Johnny. Uh, as a catcher, again, they're talking about potentially computerized pitch zones, and you work an umpire for nine innings hoping to get that corner call at the end to end the game. So what do you think about the prospect? This is not one of the rule changes, but the prospect of uh, automated umpiring instead of just a guy behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Well, they've actually used it in some minor league games. I was at a game in, at, over here in, uh, in Jupiter, and uh, they – you know, the umpire taps his head. I was sitting next to the guy who's watching. He's got nine or 11 cameras, and they can actually zone. And I I think they could possibly do that, that they can actually zone. They taps a button, and within an instance, a couple of seconds, he's able to relay the fact that it was uh, it was a strike instead of a ball. Now, that that is all interesting. It'll be interesting to see whether they called third strike, whether it was a walk, whether the guy stole, whether the guy didn't throw down to second because he called it late, he didn't call it. And for umpires, you know, heck, you could even get a job. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think I'm good right here, though. Johnny, I have a question for you. I know you were talking a lot about the innovation and the change in technology, but when you played ball, you were known as a leader in the dugout, on the field. You really knew how to deal with the players and with, of course, your bosses. But there wasn't as much ego, I've heard you say in previous interviews, as the game today. So what advice would you give to this new generation? Maybe some advice from hailing back to your time uh, that could help preserve those egos, could preserve the emotions that are involved in such a game. 
Well, I, th I think probably, probably a lot of that comes from the agents and from all your people around you that tell you you're underpaid, you're underappreciated, and you start listening to them, and you go to the ballpark with issues to begin with. Your job is that you've signed that contract, let it go right then. That money is going to your accountant. Go to the ballpark, play the game you love, and don't be thinking, well, you know, I kind of like to live here, and I kind of want to be here, and I don't have that, and I need to fly home to see my – you know, if you're making forty. Three million dollars, like Scherzer's going to do, and you're going to, you know, you can afford to do almost anything you want. You can buy your own place, you can fly your parents, you can fly anybody you want in. But let's just, you know, a leader is somebody that shows up on time, does their job, doesn't ask for anything special. He's responsible. You know, there well, is no not I life. That's not advice for baseball. That's advice for life from a Hall of that's Famer. Right. Well, right. You are. There is no I in team, but it is. They're all eyes. It's all the best individuals. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.